today because like hair is not cooperating today but I need to get these filmed so that I don't have to worry about them during exams so I'm sorry the hat is staying. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, and it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes, so I will leave both their links down below, as well as the Goodreads group if you guys want to check us out for topics and whatnot. Today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is your Top 5 Books That You Think Would Make Great Video Games. Without further ado, let us get started! Honestly, don't play that many video games, and if I do, it's usually just like Fallout because Fallout's the best. Like, I usually play like role-playing games. I just think they're more fun than like fighting games. But I guess role-playing games are also like fighting games. I used to play like Nancy Drew all the time. I loved solving those mysteries, and I felt like such a badass when I actually solved them. So like, <laughs> I was a pretty cool child. I have a total of five books that I think would be kind of cool as video games. You guys are probably gonna be like, Jay, what are you thinking? Are you dumb? But yes, yes, I am. Okay, my first book on my list. Hear me out. Because you guys are probably going to be like, what are you talking about? Are you ready? The Selection by Kira Cast. Just take this in. Basically, The Selection is The Bachelor, okay? So, oh, just hear me out. You get to be Prince Maxon, okay? You get to meet all these girls. And basically, the entire game is you trying to decide who you want to pick. But you don't have to pick who he picks in the book, okay? You can pick whoever you want from all of the selection. Honestly, I think it would be so funny to just like play the game over and over again and pick different people and like each time you pick somebody different, like obviously it would change the entire game. And there could be like a million storylines in this game. Just think about it. And it could be really funny because you could turn girls against each other and just cause all this drama in your little world and I just think it would be funny. Or you could take it the different way and you could be like America, like in the book, and you could have to try to win Maxon's heart. See, this game could just have so many options, and I think it would be entertaining. It would just be like a role-playing game, and I like role-playing games, so I think it would be funny. And also amusing to turn girls against each other. Because you shouldn't do that in real life, but in a video game, nobody gets actually hurt, so it's great. Next book that I think would be a pretty fun video game would be The Novice by Turan Mathru. This book is basically about a demon summoner named Fletcher, and he goes off on these adventures and, like, kills demons and whatnot. I think it would be fun to kill demons. It would kind of be like any other action game. But you get your own pet demon, and he's like the cutest pet demon ever, so like why would you not want a pet demon, you know? And I want a demon. Moral of this video, give me a demon world. Thank you. My third book that I think would make a cool video game. You guys are probably all going to be like, Jay, you're messed up in the head, and yes, yes I am. It is Room by Emma Donahue. <laughs> if you've read this book, you're probably like, uh, uh, what? It's basically about a girl who got kidnapped, and she has a son now who was born in the room she was kidnapped in. And it's basically the story of them trying to escape and living in this room. I think this could be a cool video game because it would be like those escape room games. You guys are probably like, Jay, what the hell? Like, this is messed up. Like, you should not make kidnapping a game. But like, think about it. It would be fun. Don't lie. You would have fun with it. The next book that I chose to be made into a video game is Nerve by Jeanne Ryan. I think it would be a cool action game because like, all the dares in the game you would have to do to complete and if you didn't complete them then like the game's over so like you could win the entire nerve game if you beat the video game and i just think that the dares could be fun except the dares in this were kind of lame but the dares in the movie were cool so if they're like the dares in the movie where they actually like did exciting things then the game could be actually really fun and then finally my final book that I think would be a cool video game is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I think the magic system in this would be super cool as a video game and I think it would be an action game but it would also kind of be like a role-playing game as well if you followed the storyline but like it could be fun. And like the Blood Witch, he'd probably be hot so it'd be nice to look at. I do not play video games for the experience, I play it for the characters and how I want to have a crush on all of them. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was my Top 5 Wednesday for this week, the Top 5 books that I think would make good video games. I know nothing about video games, so I might be completely wrong, but I'm still like high on the selection game. I think it would be sick. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!